way to as far as Dallas and up north from there. And we chose Pennsylvania first because it's important. It's important for ballot access and we've got to give people an alternative. When people ask me why I'm running for office, I tell them it's because government is too big, too bossy, too nosy, too intrusive, and we're small, they usually hurt the very people they're trying to help. And that's what we've seen with the coronavirus, that's what we see with healthcare, that's what we see with social security and retirement, that's what we see with education, with pretty much everything. So what we have right now, the one the one issue I like to talk about the most is healthcare, because it is literally a life or death situation. People's lives are at stake. And we hear politicians say that we need Medicare for all. When I hear Medicare for all, what I think is VA hospital for all. And the VA hospital is not working. In fact, it wouldn't work for anybody, but to put the people who are willing to risk their lives for our country through it is even worse. What we need to do is we need to follow instead a system that has been shown to work a system that has worked great in both Singapore and the state of Indiana, and that is more of a free market system. People say we haven't had, people say that we have a free market system and it's not working. We haven't had a free market system in almost a hundred years. What we have right now is most of our healthcare dollars going through the government. If you look at the only two somewhat free market systems in our healthcare system, LASIK surgery and cosmetic surgery, you see prices going down dramatically and the quality go up. And that's what we need. And the last point on healthcare is is um, looking at uh, is that okay? Okay, sorry. Um, the last point about healthcare is that it is not real insurance. And the best example I like to use is car insurance because most people have car insurance. Imagine if your car insurance paid for gas, oil, car washes, and so forth. You wouldn't have any reason to drive around town looking for the cheapest gas prices, and gas stations certainly wouldn't have any reason to lower their prices to entice you. You would just go to the nicest, closest, whatever gas station, give your little $5 copay card, and be on your way. And they wouldn't worry because they would simply get money from the big insurance companies, so everybody wins. However, when people spend their own money, such as LASIK and cosmetic surgery, doctors have to compete. And I don't want to sound like I'm blaming the doctors because they're being, uh, they're, they're in the system too. They're getting the raw end of the deal too. I hear so many doctors say that, you know, they liked it decades ago when they could actually practice medicine uh -huh. instead of filling out forms. The last thing I'd like to point out is my platform of bringing the troops home. I want to turn America into one giant Switzerland, armed and neutral. There is no reason that taxpayer dollars from Alabama, Iowa, or Pennsylvania should go to support wealthy France or Germany. They're getting five week vacations while we're getting two or three weeks. Why should we be paying for their defense? And we got to get out of the Middle East. That's causing more problems than it's solving. So again, these are things that government says they're trying to help us with, and they're making it worse. So thank you so much for your ballot, for your uh, getting petitions. I want you to know that uh, years ago, I collected signatures myself as a volunteer. I know it's a thankless job. It needs to get done. Uh, I did have a few uh, in enjoyable situations, though, with people. Sometimes you get somebody who's nice or somebody that you can convince. And, um, you know, d despite their initial uh, not wanting to sign it, so it's kind of a challenge. But I, it's really important that we get on the ballot in all 50 states because I want every American in this country to have a real choice. What they have right now is not a real choice. We keep seeing fake fights between Democrats and Republicans trying to show you that there's a difference between them, but there's not. Both Trump and Biden are big spenders. They're both war hawks. Neither one is going to bring the troops home. Uh, we saw that with the Democratic Party muzzling uh, Tulsi Gabbard, which is unconscionable because the Democratic Party used to be the party of anti-war, of pro-peace, of free speech, and that's the last thing it is now. So for a real choice, we have to get on the ballot in all 50 states and let Americans vote for what, Amer what made America great, and that is freedom and liberty and people making their own decisions and not people in Washington. So thanks so much, and I can take about three or four questions. Nope, okay.
justices who have read the Constitution, which apparently they haven't. In a debate, <laughs> I said that I would um, appoint uh, Jacob Hornberger, who ran for the nomination. I'm so happy to appoint him because he clearly knows the Constitution. Thank <laughs> you. 